What's going on, everyone? Want to make a quick video over what has transpired over the week. Um, obviously, big news coming out about Noah Gragson. And a lot of people have talked about it. A lot of people have their feelings about it. So I just want to go ahead and get my video out there and my thoughts as well about what I feel happened and what's happening with the Noah Gragson situation. Obviously, by now you've heard he's suspended indefinitely by NASCAR. Um, more than likely it'll be for the rest of the year. And the reason why he's been suspended is for a tweet, not something that he tweeted, not something that he retweeted, but something that he liked. And when I first heard this, it, it immediately said, what can you possibly like that would result for you to be fired from your job? Essentially that's what it is or suspended from your job or whatever however you want to use it. So obviously I saw the tweet that was brought up. It was over George Floyd incident that obviously has happened years ago now. And you know, it is what it is. Some people might think that's offensive. Some people think that, you know, it was funny. I'm a dark humor type of person. I don't really care about the politics behind it or whatever you want to put insert into it. Um, however you may feel, whatever. We've joked about things for a very long, long time. And if you want to pretend that you haven't laughed about something that might be considered dark, then you're delusional or you're a liar. Plain and simple. And if you have laughed at something like that or thought that something like that was funny and think that somebody deserves, to, you possibly deserve to lose your job for it, we obviously don't share the same feelings and the same thought processes. But here's what I'm going to tell you. Noah Gragson deserves every single thing that's happened to him since this came out. I will preface this by saying nobody should lose their job because they like a tweet. That's idiotic. That's stupid. And I feel like adults in the room can have a conversation about why these things maybe could be changed in the future on a behavior or something. I understand this sport relies upon sponsors. I'm not stupid. I realize that. My favorite driver supposedly lost his job last year because his sponsor was leaving. So I understand the implications whenever you do something in the public eye. I'm not a public figure. I share my space on a social media platform that more often than not that, it, hell, if I probably showed that same picture, the overlords at YouTube, which we know how they feel about certain things, would cancel me as well. I am no, by no means a public figure. So I don't live that day knowing that whatever I like and don't like or share or don't share can be immediately affected. I am employed. Whatever I do is in my own opinion and I stand behind it. Or if I say something and later find out it's not true, we'll repeal that. But when it comes to humor and things like that, you got to be kidding me. For anybody to lose their job because of a social media post that they liked, to me, is asinine. I, I, I feel that way 100%. And if you don't feel that way, just wait until they come for you. They being whoever is upset about whatever it is that you did, that you liked or didn't like, that you did support or didn't support. It's easy to sit there and play armchair quarterback whenever the, the hatchet's not coming down on your neck. But it will. The way that things are moving, the way things are going, and the way that we overreact to everything. That being said, for NASCAR to then go on top of it and then it, to spin him indefinitely is absolute bullshit. And I'll get back to the Noah Gregson inside of it here in just a second. NASCAR, where I was just at Michigan, and they show the top 10 NASCAR moments, and I'm pretty sure more than three of them were from people either having a physical altercation or having a verbal altercation. The number one being the 1979 Daytona 500, which got NASCAR on the map, which concluded with a fight after an Allison Yarbrough wreck. The same NASCAR 
that in their promos uses Noah Graxon getting punched in the face by Ross Chastain to highlight the excitement this year. Do not give me the bullshit, NASCAR, that you stand for certain things where you can punch somebody on one side, but if somebody likes a tweet, that's where you draw the line? That's where you suspend people? Get the fuck out of here with that. That's ridiculous. That's hypocritical, and you know for a fact it's bullshit. You're only doing something that lines your pockets, and those same people typically don't have the same thought processes as your fans. Don't align themselves that way. So to pretend you're the good guys because a tweet was like that you suspended a driver, and you're the same people that will watch somebody get physically hurt and use it for your promotional ads to make revenue, get the hell out of here with that bullshit hypocrisy. That's a joke. But the biggest joke of all is Noah Gragson. Noah, I saw what they wrote. Legacy Motor Club, we have made the decision to suspend Noah Gragson effective immediately regarding his action that do not represent the values of our team. Josh Berry will drive the number 42 entry this weekend. Replying to that, Noah, this is where you become the biggest clown. I am disappointed in myself for my lack of attention and actions on social media. I understand the severity of this situation. I love and appreciate any everyone. I try to treat everyone equally no matter who they are. I messed up plain and simple. What'd you mess up on? What'd you mess up on? You liked a dark joke? Who? That's That's it? No, you messed up by apologizing. That's where you messed up. Look what's happening around you right now. The line in the sand's been drawn. Things that aren't accepted are now turning back on its head from things that are overreaching or overreacting. Bud Light, Target, Morgan Wallen, Jason Aldean. I don't care what you politically align yourself with. But bullshit is bullshit. And it's bullshit that you lost your ride for the rest of the year because you liked a tweet. But then you apologize for it? You apologize to the same people that got you out of a job that are trying to ruin your career? You'll never find yourself in another ride. Not only has your performance suffered, Toyota dug in to find something to make sure they had a clause to get you kicked out of the 42 car. And instead of fighting back, having a man having a little bit of cojones, your tampon slipped, and you doubled down with the mob. You doubled down with the same people that want to see you rot, that want to see you fail, and don't give a shit about Noah Gregson. They just want something to be mad at. Last week, it was Jason Aldean. The week before that, God knows what it was. They don't care about you. And for you to double down on the same people that want to make sure you're unemployed is sickening. That's a joke. So you deserve everything you got. I'd be the first person here that said, Noah, you should take this fight up against NASCAR because you do not deserve to lose a ride because of something you liked. It'd be one thing if they talked to you and said, Noah, we've noticed a pattern of behavior. We've noticed that some of our sponsors don't typically align that way. It'd be best if you just got off social media, which even then, you know, that's kind of a fine line. But I, I would come to the understanding of that. It's not silencing you. It is a sport where you're dependent upon money from sponsors. But you lost your job. Toyota was making sure you would lose your job. And they found a reason to get you out of your job. And instead of standing up for what you believe in, having just a little bit of alpha male in you, and say, no, I'm not going to stand for this bullshit, not because it's just me, but because the next person that's going to get attacked for this. You caved. You're weak, and you don't deserve a ride now. 
If you're not willing to stand for something that minuscule, you deserve everything you got. Take it from me. This video would have been the first one out by myself just getting back from Michigan yesterday that was supported you and said this is wrong by NASCAR. Put out a video the same way with Josh Williams expressing his concern, his right to protest. Obviously, he did it a little bit of a different way. Stood by it. Did what he did. Came on here and said that's bullshit. NASCAR did the wrong thing, and unfortunately for Josh Williams, he took the hammer for it. Same thing for you. Been the first person here to support you. Now I could care less. If you never get another ride, you'll be the guy that had the stupid-ass haircut, got knocked the hell out by Ross Chastain, and then when it was time to stand up for something and have a little bit of balls in today's society, you didn't. You couldn't even stand by your own like tweets. So that's how I feel. I hope NASCAR don't continue to go down this road. I love NASCAR, the sport. I don't like the politics that are what are becoming sports. If it gets to the point where I have to turn it off, I will. I enjoy the product. I drove my ass to Brooklyn and sat in the rain yesterday for hours upon hours because I enjoy said sport, even though my driver didn't make it 15 laps into the race. But decisions like this make it difficult at times. And I hope we don't continue a pattern and go down that road. And Noah Graxon could have been a pioneer for that. But instead, is just another lamb slaughtered by the mob. So, that's my feelings. You can like or dislike. I would love to have a conversation with you, whether it's through text in the chats or reaching out to me personally. I could care less. I'm always open to debate. Whatever I say, I stand behind. I hope Noah Graxton, next time you learn the same thing. So this has been Ryan Peters. Thanks for joining me here on Stuck in the Catch Fence. We'll catch you in the next video.